Over the next few minutes, we, the GIS instructors, will give you a better understanding of what our major is, how it relates to the Army and civilian sectors, and some research opportunities. Additionally, at the end, you'll be able to hear some from some of our cadets in the major. And the remote sensing, advanced remote sensing, and surveyed and photogrammetry courses, you get to learn the science behind collecting precise geospatial data for practical application using cutting edge industry equipment and drones. Hi, I'm Captain Harrell, and one of my favorite things about GIS is that once you collect your data, whether that's with drones, survey equipment, or physically on your own, you can bring that into a geographic information system. Within that system, you can analyze and visualize your data. You can start to pick out the spatial patterns, whether you're looking at Steph Curry's shot patterns across the court, you're tracking your soldiers in the field, or just thinking about where to put your next business location. Either way, after you analyze that data, you can visualize it in interesting and cutting-edge ways, including virtual reality, 3D perspectives, interactive web mapping, and ever-changing mobile applications. Ultimately, you can explore anything you're interested in. As long as you can collect the data, you can analyze it and visualize it with GIS. So I'm Lieutenant Colonel Wright, and one of the questions our cadets ask us regularly is how is geospatial information sciences relevant to a future career in the Army? And I think it's relevant in all branches and in, in all sorts of ways. Uh, as a maneuver officer, I found it relevant and it helped me as an armor officer. But we say on a regular basis that in three specific areas, as you can see on the board, space, military intelligence, and engineers, it's super relevant. And our cadets have come back and told us in their exit interviews with branch detailing that they very much benefited from their experiences in this program when they were in their interviews. We have a lot of AIADs that cadets interested in some of these areas can get experiences that they can leverage and talk about in their interviews. So anyway, I look forward to seeing you in the book. Hello, I'm Dr. O'Bain. Geospatial science has become an integral part of modern society by contributing greatly to industries related to the financial sector, transportation, civil engineering and construction, business development, and environmental preservation. The private companies you see behind me represent leaders in the industry that provide geospatial analysis tools and services to private industry, government agencies, and the Department of Defense. Lastly, we have an ever-growing network of USMA GIS grads that have found great success as geospatial professionals uh, in industries related to the public, the private sectors, and the defense sector. Hi, my name is Colonel Chris Oxen. I want to talk to you today about research and AIDs in our GIS program. Our AIDs are really focused all over the domestic United States and internationally. Uh, some of our recent locations have included Alaska, which you see in the background here where I spent last summer with several cadets conducting research. And the communities we really support are the Department of Defense, the Intel community, and also the private sector. And Dr. Matt O'Banion mentioned some of those private sector partners before. Finally, our research, uh, three of our primary partners in research are the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, ESRI, and the Army Geospatial Center. Some of our recent successes include winning the Superintendent's Innovation Award. And this past year, we had three cadets that received graduate scholarships. One was a STAMPS awardee who was actually using his research money right now to conduct research. Uh, he's a class of 22 grad, Adam Johantis. And our other two grads are attending school at Stanford and the University of South Pat Hampton in the UK. Hi, my name is Eleanor Burnett. My favorite part of the GIS program is that the data that you gather, you get to visually depict on the map. Hi, my name is Cindy Dawson, and my favorite thing about the GIS department is the community and the instructors. Hi, I'm Nicole Wallen, and my favorite part about the GIS major is the real world application of it. The GIS major. I chose GIS because it's a diverse set of skills that you learn throughout this major that allow you to solve complex problems that involve time and space. I love being a GIS major because it gives me a chance to move around in the field of STEM without having to do some hard like math classes or some like aggressive engineering. Um, but it allows me to explore STEM, uh, especially remote sensing. I love satellites. I love the various uses for satellites. I love that the Army is encompassing all of the good things that GIS majors do and have done for years into how we look at the enemy and how we look at battle. And I think moving forward, it'll be a great major 
to uh, have a background in for the jobs that I want in the Army and in the civilian world. I chose GIS because the uh, staff and faculty have been very friendly and they're really approachable. So I grew up in the woods of Pennsylvania with my father surveying trees and I thought this major would be a good way to apply to the military and I've taken GIS and cartography and just making the maps and seeing results is what I really like. I have this like overwhelming sensation like, oh, this is the place, this is where I'm supposed to be. We have like the best people. I mean, it is really satisfying. I was so excited doing staff when I um, finished my first map. I was so excited. I took a whole Snapchat video of it and I went and like, showed it to my parents and I didn't get my map. <laughs> And thanks for watching and learning more about GIS as a major. Feel free to contact one of the GIS instructors or come up to 5th floor Washington Hall. We'll see you soon.